2002, Malaysia has recorded 39,936 tons of waste generated daily. There is an increase of 1% compared to 2018 which is 36,843 tons. The increase in the amount of waste occurs due, due to the population of Malaysia that rise by 2.4% every year. The disposal of food waste also include other packaging such as polystyrene, pet bags, can and bottle and this will contribute to environmental waste pollution. Paper bag usage also contribute to the destruction of the environment. This is because deforestation activity will be carried out where the cutting down of trees is performed to obtain materials to produce paper. To overcome the problems mentioned above and as a step toward production of the packaging that contribute to zero waste pollution, our group has come out with an alternative to produce plastic-based packaging by the use of bacterial cellulose. This project aims to reduce agriculture domestic waste because our group will use fruit waste that can be obtained from disposal sites stalls or shop as our media culture. Moving on to the summary of the project flow, firstly, the collection of the waste which include the collection of the watermelon fruit waste, all palm fiber waste and eggshell. Next is the pretreatment of waste which for the melon, they are grinded into ratio of 1 to 4 melon to water ratio. Afterward, the melon will be heated to 140 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. The melon is then filtered through nylon coffee filter to separate between pulp and media. For the pretreatment of oil palm fawn and eggshell, they will be grinded into approximately 500 micrometer size. Afterward, we will then add the glucanoacetobacter xylenase into melon waste media under static fermentation mode. After 16 days, bacterial cellulose pellicle will be produced. Lastly, after collecting bacterial cellulose, we will then mix the bacterial cellulose with water, melon pulp, and oil palm front in different ratio. The best ratio is selected to produce the bioplastic bag. Below are the 10 size strength of 4 of our product. If we see here, at the overall result, 3 out of 4 of our prototype have the ideal tensile strength to be made as commercialized packaging. Why was our product special? Well, the first reason is in our product is high value added which in order to obtain the main resource, it is relatively easy as they are cheap and high abundance. Since melon waste and oil palm frond waste are considered non-usable waste in the agriculture industry and they usually dump this waste in high amount into the landfill. Second reason is the bacteria cellulose have higher yield of mass per area and also rapid growth. An average tree usually take 2 to 3 years to be made into paper while bacterial cellulose can have an ideal yield in 16 to 32 days. Last but not least, our project does not require advanced technique, technology or machinery. The main process used are simple and basic techniques such as heating, free settling, sedimentation, nylon filtering, and static fermentation and casting.